So, it's me, your boy, K. Sam. Say, may God bless you all for, you know, being with me. <laughs> you know, I truly appreciate. I'm not, I'm not here to lie. So, listen, what they are meant for evil, that is what God is using to surprise them. <laughs> They thought that they thought what they said would destroy you, but that is what God is using to promote you. <laughs> that is why my daddy used to tell me. He used to tell my mom those days. So anytime we you know we kill goats on Christmas Day, then my mom will be expecting my dad to do what to keep the meat. My my dad will tell my mom, you better eat today and stop thinking about tomorrow because tomorrow old in self so listen <laughs> they made it for evil and expecting it to destroy you but yet god keep providing and wishing you well <laughs> you know those days my mom will be called papa samson papa samson you like to eat everything today today you don't even think of tomorrow he said yes tomorrow old himself so they never wish that after everything that they have done to destroy you, that God will still surprise them. <laughs> hey, <Buka. laughs> they don't understand that there is abundant in our father's house. So they made it for evil to destroy you, and God do it for your good. So, so we do you know the reason why my mom only used to tell my dad that word, that word because my dad liked to eat what meat. Not that we don't keep, we keep. But the reason why my mom always advised my mom because my dad because he's, he's what he's a lady, so he care about tomorrow. But my dad no, not that my dad don't care, but he said celebrate today and do what and be hoping for tomorrow. Because God who provides today will still provide tomorrow. So they never believe that that God who provided yesterday will still provide today. <laughs> they thought that what they made for evil. Listen, the brothers of David do evil against David to bring him down. And when they come to realize that what they made for evil is what take David from nobody to become somebody from unknown entity to become a quality, they start. I, I'm sure they start to call him brother, <laughs> senior boss. So listen, it's not, it's not what people think within you that will destroy you. That's why I do used to like. I, 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 I you know, I love my mom always. <laughs> she know how to economize. She know how to, you know, how to make things be available at home. Even when things, things are not what okay, my mom will always make us to feel what all right. Those days when I was a kid, I used to complain, you know, complain always. Why is it that we do this, we eat this, we didn't eat us always? So my mom will tell me always, she said, chill up. God who always keep us alive, we still do what? Know the best for us. <laughs> Sometimes my daddy will always tell my mom, he said, <laughs> No matter how many that got that against you, as long as God don't want you to end in shame, they all would do what? We see you mapping out like an ego. <laughs> you know, there's a story that my dad tell me those days. He said there was a particular place that many people, you know, in those days, where you clear, where you clean, clear in the farm, that is where you will do what you will own as your own. So many, many people were so afraid of this man because the man was so big so tall and nobody confront him so this man decided to pick many places and there was a small place that my dad was you know clearing for him for himself so everybody was afraid saying this man will hurt my dad so something happened that my dad started to tell his senior brothers and all this is senior brothers they are tall big like Sodom and Gomorrah they are big past my father and my father is the smallest like me so all of them we are so afraid they leave the land for the man and my dad was so bold he, he started to clear what the place so after everything something happened that this man started to you know start to try to argue with my father that and the more he talked 
That's why I always tell you people, silent is the greatest weapon to do or to, to fight anybody, no matter who they are. So my dad was so calm, and after, after everything, this man started to beg my dad because of his own silent. And upon all those things, my dad still stand in that place, and this man started to leave some places for my dad. Why? Because no matter who got that against you, no matter who try to do or to take you for granted, no matter who don't believe, that you can explode, no matter who, you know, who stand as a goalie out in place of your destiny, no matter who they are, as long as God live, <laughs> what they meant for evil, God will surely turn it for your good. <laughs> you, you don't need to shake, nor be ashamed of what, of being whom you are. The fear is that many of us are afraid of what will come out. That's why there's a day that I was, my dad was discussing with me. He said, Samson, don't let something shake you. Because if everything starts to shake you, even the leaf that fall down, we do it, we tremble. You, we make you to tremble. We make you to be, ash to be, to be afraid. So stand like a man. So what am I trying to tell you? What they meant for able to destroy you is now what is elevating you. So don't let the evil that they plot against you don't let the word that they are saying, don't let the deeds they have done to do or to make you to be afraid of what of quitting or of being or fearing them. No, don't fear them. Because most of people whom you think that they are somebody within them, they are empty. They are automatically empty. Believe me. So what they meant for evil is what God is using to elevate and promote you. So God is shocking your enemy by keeping you alive god is shocking your enemy by disappointing the devices god is you god is disappointing your enemy by promoting you they never believe or thought that you could be the one in this position now believe me many of them are what are shocked because of where god is taking you to may god bless you and have a nice day you see i'm just coming back from work <laughs> the work i move around for something may god bless you all and remain blessed and don't forget to subscribe.